So I hope you understand the real world example which I have given you. Uh, now let's go further and understand few more things here. Okay, see in this concept what I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you. Uh, we just studied a concept called method overriding. Remember, we studied a concept called method overriding. But now, uh, what I want to tell is there's no such concept as data member overriding. Say for example, a father has woman called sweet home. So, can son can also have one data member with the same name as a data member which is present in the father? Yes, it is possible. Let's say sweet home, spicy home. So, son has got a home called spicy home and father has got a home called sweet home. Now, in the test, uh, let's comment this out for now. I'm calling Rahul Gandhi dot home one. So now what happens? What one it will print? Will it print home one? That is spicy home, the one in the sun, or the one in the father. Tell me, friend, what do you think? Okay, uh, most probably if you have guessed, because I told the concept there is no such thing as data member overriding, so you might have guessed the output as it will print sweet home. It's not. See, there's a data member in Sun. It's called home one. It's an instance of Sun. So obviously, when I say Rahul Gandhi dot home one, it will print spicy home. Let's compile this and execute this. See, it's spicy home. Then don't you think it has been overridden? Do you think? What do you think? Is it overridden or what? Is it data member is overridden here? So the answer is no. Now the next important point which I'm going to teach you now is quite confusing but you have to pay total attention and understand this clearly. Okay, this is very 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 important because often I found people get confused with what I'm going to teach you now. Okay, I'm going to teach you an important uh, topic called is a relationship. So what are we going to study now? We are going to study a concept called is a relationship. Okay, so let me tell you what is is a relationship. Suppose if I have a class vehicle and I have a class car which inherits vehicle. Can I say car is a vehicle? Can I say like this? Yes, possible, right? Car is a vehicle. Suppose if the racing car extends car, can I say racing car is a car? Yes, obviously, yes. Now, can I say car is a vehicle and racing car is a car and say racing car is a vehicle? Can I do this one? Yes, that is also possible because racing car has a parent car and car's parent is vehicle. Okay, so that is what the meaning of is a relationship. So, inheritance is basically called as is a relationship. In this case, this parent can be an interface, it can be an abstract class or it can be a concrete class whatever it may be. If the car is, let's say it's child, then car is a vehicle. Child extends or implements um, parent, then we can say child is a parent. So that is easy relationship. Now let me rephrase the question again. So in our example here, we have son extends father. Can we call son is a father? What do you think? Hmm? Can we call son is a father? So, you might have thought that how son can be a father. If you thought that son cannot be a father, maybe most probably you are trying to interpret this in the English literature meaning. But we are not studying English here. We are studying a brand new language called Java. So, from Java's perspective, you know this one very well. Okay. If a class extends another class or implements an interface, then the child is father. That is, in this case, we can say 
Son is a father. And even in literature, meaning also it's same. Son can be a father. Son is a father and is son also, isn't it? Say so for example, today you are son. Maybe in 2-3 years, you will be a father also. Anyway, uh, now here, in the interview, if they ask you questions like this, let's say they'll ask you a question. I have a class dog. I have a class dog, which extends God. Now, can I say dog is a God? Answer is yes. As long as it is in the returns, it is is a relationship. Inheritance means he is a relationship. So, when we say he is a relationship, we are not simply saying it. See, for example, here, uh, let me comment this. Let me create a new object now. I'll say new son. That means I have instantiated a son. Son is a father, right? So, we can, the instance of son is also an object of type father. Father, let's say f1 equal to new son. We can do like this. See, son is a father. So that means the instance of son is also an instance of type father. Understand this clearly here. We are not creating an instance of father here. What we are doing here? We are creating an instance of son because of is a relationship. Because of is a relationship instance of son is also an instance of type father because of his because of is a relationship instance of of type son is also an instance of type father or instance of son is also an instance of type father is it clear we can say like this so now if i say f1 dot whom one what will be the output will it print spicy home or will it print sweet home same way another question to you if i say f1 dot good behavior which one will it call will it call the good behavior of a one defined in the son or the one which is defined in father now let me make one small change here i'll say good behavior of father i say here same way in the son in the overridden method I'll say good behavior of son. So let's take the first one. F1 dot home one. We created an instance of son. And through the instance, we are calling and what? We assigned it to an reference of type father. Because of visa relationship, it is possible. But when I say F1 dot home one, if there is any concept as such as data member overriding, then it would call the home one which is there in son. But you have to understand that there is no concept as such as data member overriding. So in this case, what happens? This will call the one which is there in father. So we get the output as sweet home. Whereas, let me compile this. We are getting the output as sweet home. Now the tricky part here is when you say f1 dot good behavior, it is not calling the one which is there in father. Why? Simple reason. There is a concept called method overriding. So what happens in this case? It will check whether the behavior is present in this instance or not. So it will call that. So why is that? Because methods can be overridden, but data members cannot be overridden then what happens to the home one of son it will be there in the memory but here the left hand side is of type father so it will access the data member of father and when we call the member method when we call the member method it will call the 
ओवरडन मेथड इफ द मेथड इज ओवरडन वेन डेटा मेंबर इज कॉल्ड द डेटा मेंबर ऑफ पेरेंट इज कॉल्ड नाउ हियर वेन methods member methods are called the one which is over ridden in child is called if it is over ridden if If it's not overridden, then the one in parent is called. Okay, I hope you understand this clearly. So just understand this one. There is a concept called method overriding. There is no such concept as data member overriding. Now the things gets more interesting. Shall I spice this up a little more? The most interesting question is now. These are the questions they will ask in the interview. So, what about do something, which is in the sun class, right? Now, can I call f one dot do something? See, understand this one. We created the instance of sun. We created the instance of sun, but it is of type what? Father. It is of type father. See when the son extends father, son is a father. Son is a father, but son is something else also. Son is something else also, which is father not. Get the point? Is it clear? Let me repeat this statement again. When a class son extends father, son is a father. Son is a father, but son is not only a father but is something else also which father is not but here the instance is of type father so this object can access only whatever is present in father that means if the data member is declared it will access the one which is there in the father but when the method is called if it is then if it is overridden in the if it is overridden in the son then that will be called but if you call a method which is belongs to son where this method is never declared in the father see father class do not contain any such method as do something so what happens now i will get a error why do something method is not declared in father the instance is of type son is instance of son but it is of type father so to this object only the methods present in father is accessible so if i go here if i compile this if i compile this i get the error set do something is not present so now if i create a do something method in father if i create a do something method in father let's say the same concept i am re, re, re explaining now what does it mean let's say father is doing something so since the father has do something son also has got do something so that means this has been overridden it was already present in the father son has overridden now if i call now if i call what is output i am getting getting Son is doing something. Which one I called? I called f one dot do something, but it is calling the one which is there in son. Why? The method has been overridden in son already. Now take a situation. Son don't have this method at all, but the method is present in father. Now in this case, what happens? So obviously the one which is there in father is called. Got the point? Is it clear? 
I hope nothing is confusing. If anything is confusing, you know what I want you to do is uh, this is the purpose I created this video. Go watch step by step, do this practice along with me. Again, play, again, do this. Try to understand the concept, whichever I thought you just know. So, that is the concept of easy relationship. But again, there's a one more video I have created. There, I'm going to explain. Uh, with another example, what uh, the purpose of what is the real world use of is a relationship. So that is using the interfaces.